Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll be downloading top five must have Android app for 2024. This is July and part seven series. And if you missed my previous video, don't worry about it. I'll throw a card in the corner for you guys and I'll link in the description below with the part series. So you can go check it out. They have the awesome app. You should give it a try. You're gonna love them. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. And thank you so much for my viewers and subscriber who's been helping this channel grow faster. I really appreciate that one. And thank you so much. And before we proceed this one, I love those comments. So keep commenting down below and then uh, throw some recommendation, whatever apps you want to feature on this channel. I will definitely going to do it if you like something that can be done. Disclaimer purpose, this video is for education purpose only. So let's move on. And before we proceed this one, I want to give it a shout out to Salim. He's been asking for one particular thing, which is how can you get a temporary email address? So if you want to hide your identity in terms of you don't want to give out email address to a lot of telemarketing people and things like that, you can use this temporary uh, email address school temp mail. So you can go check it out it's again, available for everybody. You don't have to install anything and you'll be able to get any sort of a generate a temporary email address. It will, and then it will, you'll, on the bottom section, you can go check it out completely free. And again, this is just for education purposes only. Let's move on. Number one is called Obtainium. So, so Obtainium, it is a best app. If you have been watching my videos and if you have not watched my videos, but if you are trying to install any sort of app from GitHub, then you know the not may have to scroll down until it ends and there are a lot of steps but if you install this app once guess what all problems gone so you're gonna love this one by the way so for example this app particular app you can only find a get up once you install it and then in any apps from get up you can go i'll just give you a demonstration here first and not as installing but i'll show you what it is so apps add apps import and export and settings if if you want to add some app or source from GitHub, you can go press add apps and then you can see app source URL and then you just copy that, you paste it and you press add. Once you add it, it will just get loaded on the front area. So, and then what it is, is it gives you that uh, privilege or you can say it gives you a power to look through the app if you want to update the app, if you want to install the app. So now number two is called Hail, H-A-I-L. So Hail, it is uh, it works for me, so it might not work for you. If you have a high-end devices, you might not see the big difference, but if you have low-end device like what I have, Samsung Galaxy A53 5G, so this is a pretty a low-end device, but as you can see, I'm gonna show you here, it works well, the fluidity is there, it just does the job, and there's no, uh, like a, there's nothing pending in the background or there's nothing running in the background, what I don't use, so I have a whole control over this device. So this hell gives you that extra pair of hands if you if you want to call that way. So, and then it, it can freeze the app. So you can see this for the video purpose of um, just technically freeze all the apps. If I don't use it, you can go select the app and then start freezing whatever app you don't need it. And again, it just uh, could be me or you give it a try and then comment down below if that works for you or not. So this is the awesome app. Now, number three is called Plain. Plain app, C-P-L-A-I-N app. What it does, open it, and then it, uh, one of my viewers um, commented and did mention what is the best uh, ecosystem-wise for you, um, you know, if, you, if you're using Android and your PC or any sort of a device, there are a lot of apps you can get it. Uh, in, out of those, you can use one of them as well. So what it does, it gives you a full access of your device uh, only this, I'm not talking about the root access, I'm talking about all of these. And by the way, I'm not recommending people to uh, root the device. I'm not recommending to uh, you to uh, get a system access. You might break your device. Again, it's up to you. But this app does not do that. You can start the service. It will give you an IP address on the top. You can go select that IP address, put it on your, on your computer or device, whatever browser of your choice. You can open it. And once you pair that, you'll be able to access every single thing, whatever shows here to your uh, PC, so that or uh, Mac or laptop, whatever you're using. So this is the best alternative way if you are trying to find some sort of ecosystem for your device. So you can do image transfer, audio, videos, document files, notes, feed, sound meter, a whole lot of things as well. So this is a cool app, you should give it a try. Number four is called Mubit, uh, M-U-B-E-R-T. So it is an AI driven music player. So what it does, there are a lot of uh, preset music um, by AI, so you can go select it, open it, 
if you're not listening to any sort of music, uh, and like for example, if you're, if you're not listening to soothing music while you're falling asleep, guess what? This does that exactly. And you can cast it, as you can see, you can cast it in the TV if you want to cast it in the TV. You can do a whole lot of things. So I don't want to go increase the volume. There are a lot of um, things you can do with this um, particular app. So you can go change it if you want to change it. If you want to do a whole lot of things, you can give it a try and then comment down below if you love this app or not. Now, number five is called Superstat Bar. You're gonna love this one. I've been using this one. And so what it does, it is um, gives you, as you can see, you can gesture, indicator, main slider, tick, um, ticket of text, status bar, battery bar, extra. You just go play around and you're gonna see a lot of things. For me, what I like most is if I select the main slider, don't worry about this ad, the ad will always trigger in the background. So it's not going to affect your uh, performance. It's not going to affect the, you know, the usability of this app. If you if you have a look here, so you'll be able to, and this is the main slider. If you have to slide from left to right and all the right to left, um, it, so that way you can increase the brightness. Or if you want to use the main slider as a media, then you can do it ringtone, alarm, voice call, anything you can do it. But what I've done is there's a trick on the, on the background. So for example, if I want to go, I select that, on the bottom and I'll select the brightness and then make sure you tick that button. So what it does it whenever you're playing music in the background, you'll be able to slide from the top and you can lower the volume. And if you are not playing music in the background, but if you are just want to increase or decrease the brightness, then you'll be able to just increase or decrease the brightness from top sliders. So if you slide it left and right, you can see I'm not trying to block the screen, but you can see the you know the brightness is going up and down. And it's a smooth, smooth feeling and it does actually it does the work as well. So this is a one of the cool app. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, smash that like button, and share with your friends and family members who really need this type of app. And if you have anything, comment down below. And this is GenusX6 signing out. Peace.